All right, so let's look at the answer to number two. In the figure below, line L is parallel to line M. Transversals T and U intersect at point A on line L and at points C and B on line M, respectively. Point X right here is on M. The measure of ACX, I've already marked it for us, is 130 degrees. The measure of BAC is 80 degrees. How many angles formed by rays L, M, and T, and U have a measure of 50 degrees? Okay. So with this one, there is a lot involved here. Uh, the main thing that we're looking for is we need to know basically what is the measure of every single angle that is created here. Okay. So we need to know a lot of our angle relationships. Okay. So they just give us two angles, and they basically want us to fill in the gaps for all the rest of them. All right, so let's get started. So with this 130-degree angle, okay, so right off the bat, with line L and line M being parallel, I can assume these are going to be some straight lines. So 130 makes a linear pair with this angle right here, and a linear pair must be supplementary. So I know right off the bat, this is a 50-degree angle. Likewise, if I was to turn a different way, line T, transversal T, is also a straight line, meaning 130 makes a linear pair with that angle, 50 degrees right there. And then, same deal, 50, and then this one right here would make 180 as well, 130, okay? We could also discover these by using the property of vertical angles as well. All right, so now we look at this inside triangle. When the inside triangle, I've got an 80 degree, we've got a 50 degree, and this one right here, if I added this to the mix, that should make all these 180. So 80 and 50 make 130. 130 from 180 is going to be 50. So this is another 50 degree angle. This 50 degree is vertical to this one, meaning congruent. So that would make 50. This 50 degree makes a linear pair with this one, meaning supplementary. So that would be 130. This 50 makes 130 with this one. Okay. So the main thing I've been looking at right now is I've been using vertical pairs, I've been using uh, linear pairs, and I've also been using triangle sum theorem to help me figure out what are each of the angles in this picture. So now we go up here to this top picture. Okay, well, I've got an 80 degree right here. Okay, and given that this 80 was created by a couple intersecting lines, I know that up here, that must also be 80. Okay. So now I come over here. I've got a 130 degree angle right here, and I need to figure out what this angle is. Well, 130 degree and this angle right here, we call same side interior angles or consecutive interior angles. And these consecutive interior angles must be supplementary. They must equal 180. So subtract 130 from that, and I get 50. This 50 is going to be vertical with this angle. So that would make that a 50 degree angle. And then if I was to just look up here at just the top, right there, I've got a 50, I've got an 80, and then i got another angle. And with them sitting on a straight line, that means that these three angles must all be supplementary. So linear pair, yes, but in this case, any time we have angles all sitting on a straight line, they should always equal 180. So 50 and 80 make 130, subtract that from 180, and I get 50. And then same deal right here. 50 vertical with this one we get another 50 so now we've gone through and we've identified basically the measure of every single angle in this picture and so now we look back how many of the angles formed by all of these lines have a measure of 50 degrees well we have one two three four five six seven eight so our answer will be c